guys, I am back with uh, part two of my epic um, December, um, and this is my second time doing um, recording it because uh, my time went over time, so I'm going to go very quick um, showing you guys what I got from the library and a used bookstore, as well as the two books I got from the dollar store. And if you have not seen part one, um, just go to my channel below, and um, it will take you um, to my channel, and you can find part one there. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and I just remembered that I just saw a part, um, my first part, and I realized that <laughs> I accidentally said, um, happy 2012, and I meant to say happy 2013 at the end, so, whoops. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. So, I'm going to start off with my library books first. So, I'll go off with, um, a standalone first, which I only got two. And it is Article by Jenna Rosby. And I love this cover. It's another cover where the girl is like hovering kind of above the uh, ground, which is really cool. And then I got Sam Human. And it is by Justine Lorber and Sarah Ruth Vernon. And then I got two sequels um, from the library. And it's um, Seek, um, Seek, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Sweet Shadows by Tamlin Child. And I love the first one. I read it over the summer, so I cannot wait to uh, read book two. And then I read uh, the first book in this one, so um, in December. So now I've got the second one, and it's The Crowns of Embers by Ray Carson. Another beautiful cover. And it's a sequel to The Fires of um, the Fires, <laughs> The Girl of Fire and Thorn. And now some new books uh, series that I got. First one being the first in the Order of the Darkness, The Changeling, um, by Philippine. I don't know how to say that last name, but beautiful cover. And it's another, it's a uh, historical um, fantasy, so I cannot wait. Then I got uh, Beta by Rachel uh, Carpini. Really beautiful cover, and it also has on the chapter, like the same design, but on the girl's face. And then I got Venom by Fiona Paul, which I'm really excited for, and I love this cover. I love anything that um, dealing with um, historical fiction or fantasy, and it has a um, mask, mastery mask on it, because I collect them, so why not wait to see this? And it's um, done in the 80s, which is really cool. So I can't wait to read that. Now some other uh, new books, um, new series that I got from the library is Brave by Sarah Cross. This is a new dystopian series, so the cover is really cool, and I've heard really great things about this um, series, so I can't wait to uh, read that one. And then the uh, first book um, in the uh, Soul Sleepers by Alison Monroe, which is uh, Fae. And I love this cover, and I cannot wait to read this one as well. The second one came out in November, and the uh, third one is coming out this year in May, so I can't wait to uh, start this series. Then I got, I think this is a series, I'm not sure if it is, but it is uh, Mas um, Monstrous Beauty by Elizabeth Berman. It's a mermaid series. Um, I think it's a mermaid. I think it's going to be a series that is about mermaids. And then I got uh, Maggie Seawater's newest uh, series, uh, newest book, that she's doing in Boys. And I cannot wait to uh, read this one. I love the Mostly Fall series, and I read the last book um, last year during the summer. So I cannot wait to uh, start that series. And the last book that I got from the library is The Diviners by Linda Gray. And it is a very hippie, hippie, woody book. book so. And yeah, and I love the cover on this one as well. And I heard really, really good things about this one. So those are all the library books that I got. So I'm going to move on to the uh, used books that I got from the used bookstore. So um, I've been trying to find a copy of this for quite a while. So um, because I've had the second one, which is uh, Rose Daughter by Robert Smith Mooney, forever I've been I've had it for years. So I can never find the first one, and I found it, and it is a uh, beauty. It is a beautiful cover. So there you go. It's so cool on the with the spine. So yeah, it looks so cool together. So that's um, that. And then, um, I, I've been trying to find the first, um, one in this series as well, but, um, I always
always keep finding this one, which is the third one. I already own the third one, so it is Checkmate by Tom Clancy. This is the one that I already have. So, let's see what I found. It's still not the first or second one, but it is the uh, fourth one, which is a uh, Fallout. And the uh, fifth book. The uh, fifth book, which is a uh, convention. Now this one is actually based off the um, the, one, uh, the uh, game that um, came out in 2011, and I love Splinter Cell. I played all the games, and I'm really looking forward to the new the newest one that's coming out um, this year. So I cannot wait. Very excited for that. So moving on, I got um, three uh, Nora Browning books. Two of them are series, and the other one is um, I don't know if it's a standalone or a series, but it is uh, Tears of the Moon by Neil Robbins. And then the uh, first and second in the uh, sequel series, which is called Madonna's uh, Cross and Dance of the Gods. There we go. The dragon for this one. And I can't wait to read these. My mom likes the contemporary ones. I like more of the fantasy, uh, paranormal kind of ones. So. But I still read some of the contemporary ones because it's not very many. And then I finally found these ones, which I was really excited for because I love the movies um, that was based off of these, so I was really excited. So it is Interview with a Vampire and Queen of the Dam by Alice Wright. So now I got the first and second one, and I'm like, oh, that one's actually excited. And this one's the movie version, by the way. And the movies are really good. Um, if you haven't seen them, I definitely highly recommend them. I watch them every Halloween, and it's, I made it a tradition to, um, to watch them every Halloween, so, and I have, and I did watch both of them this Halloween, so it's really cool. I found the second book in the, uh, Confessions of a Sh um, Shopaholic, which is Shopaholic, um, Takes Manhattan, and it's by Sophie, uh, Tinsley. Really cool cover, and I have seen the movie a long, long time ago, and I was really happy that I found the first one over the summer, and then I found this one, so. Now I can read both of them over the summer of this year. <laughs> so, then I got Waters for Elephants by Sarah. I don't know how to pronounce that last name, but I have seen this movie as well, and I loved it. I saw it last year in 2012, so I can't read the, uh, read the book now. It's based off the movie. And I forgot to um, show you this in my other video that I recorded, so when I realized that I went over time, I realized I forgot this one. And it is uh, Confessions of an Ugly Sex Sister, and it's by De Ledley Magar. And this is um, the author of The Wicked, um, of Wicked, which um, is supposed to be like a, um, it talks about the witch of the um, Wizard of Oz. It's one of my favorite um, movies, by the way. <laughs> And stories. And then I got Unwind by Neil Sushitan, which is a really, really creepy cover, I have to say. This is a dystopian um, series, so I cannot wait to uh, start this series. And then I got A Girl um, Like Laura by Lissa Barnham. Cannot wait to read this one as well this summer. And it's so cute. I love the little dog in her little helmet. So cute. The uh, fifth and sixth book in the uh, Pan Dragon series, and the fifth part is called Black Water, and then The Rivers of Zoe is the sixth one. I have the first one, I've been, um, and I've been trying to find good conditions of the rest of the series, so I'm really happy that I found them in good conditions over there. So, the uh, last book that I got at the uh, used bookstore is the uh, find up of the first three books in the Unfortunate Event series. I've um, only read the first one, and I've been trying to uh, find the rest of the series in uh, hardcover, but I can never find them. And, but I was lucky enough, I did find another co uh, uh, copy of the first one, because my, oh, my, uh, my copy was ruined, so I got a new one, and then um, I found the last book. So I'm just missing um, 4 through 12 now, so I cannot wait to read these over the summer as well. And it has the uh, villain on it, which I forgot what his name is. But it has them on the front, the back, and also has them on the spine. And then the three um, that's in here is the bad, the good, and the red problem, and the bad ninja. So I can't wait to read these. Like I said, it'll be summer. And now the two, um, last two books I got is from the dollar store. And this one I've been trying to find for a very, very long time. So I'm very happy that I found it. 
and it's Ancient Healy Heart by um, Tucker Schroff. And this one sounds really good. So I love the cover. Like that. I like the back. And then when you take off the dust jacket, it has the, uh, the title engraved in gold on a rustic book, and it has symbols on top of the, of the title as well as the bottom of the top. I cannot wait to go read this. Now the last book that I got is one that my mom picked up for me, and it's from the dollar store, and it's The Girl in the Glass Suit by Ella Shaw, and it's a beautiful cover. It's a fantasy um, novel, so I cannot wait for this one as well. So those are all the books I got, and I made it in about 11 minutes, so yay! <laughs> so um, I will see you guys in the next video, and it's going to be um, my uh, top, tw um, top uh, books in 2012, as well as my favorite books in 2012. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy reading, and so glad, so good to be back again, and um, and happy and happy New Year's, guys. Bye.